Oh, hey guys, I uh, didn't see you there. Just writing down a few notes, going over some things for a future YouTube video. But uh, if you guys can stick around for a couple more minutes, if you got some time, I just happen to have the book right here. Uh, this is one of my favorite gaming related fairy tales of all time. I know that sounds like the strangest thing you've ever heard, but trust me, it's really, really good. I would love to get your take on it. So. Like I said, if you guys have a couple minutes, I would love to know what you think. Once upon a time, a ninja from south of the Canadian border issued a challenge that would shake up the entire retro gaming community. What's going on gamers? I've been a little too nice. It's time to get back to my trolling and rolling ways. And what better way than with a $100 retro gaming challenge. I did this last year. I sent out 20 bucks and five copies of Cobra Triangle to random YouTube channels across the country. It was so simple yet so malevolent that when the princess of retro gaming heard the news, she was frightened and for good reason. You see, the princess was no expert in the art of retro gaming. Try as she might, the passion was just not there. She had eyes for another. But as the ninja continued his verbal assault, the princess's fright dissipated and a calm washed over her. Her fear was replaced with determination. I made a promise to myself and the entire gaming community that I would play more retro games this year. I gotta get good. It's time to go to work. The princess picked a suitable weapon, old but sturdy. It had been manhandled by many a hairy, sweaty, retro warrior. Despite that, she knew that with a little polish and care, it too would feel right in her dainty feminine hands. She began to practice combinations the retro gaming community had never seen before. The hurricane, the sprightly sideways shuffle, the fleet of foot, the diagonal two-hand dash, and the whatever the fuck this is. Okay, so none of these combinations were perfect or helpful in the least because who the hell knew how the game was actually played? The princess had to quit wasting time and just start. The fear was creeping back in. Now, what you're about to see has never been seen before and it was never meant to see the light of day but for the princess to be able to heal, I guess we'll just go ahead and show it. Well, la ti fucking da. Jump everything! Kick asses! Take names! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I see the dying happening. Choke up on your bat and get going! Oh, no, 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 don't let them hit you. They're, they're evil little fuck turds. Oh! This is not good. Why, why are we stuck in one? Would the mountain lions just fuck off? It's nap time! Hibernate! Look at there's snow out! Go away! Jesus! Oh, there's whatever that thing is again. Oh, oh. Well, I can't have my dude back? You're dead to me! You're dead to me! You're dead to me! You're killing- Okay, fine! You're dead to me! Oh, I'm dead to everything! Oh, I'm dying. This is not going well. This is so not going well. I have zero lives left and I barely made it through the, I don't know, the very first of it, the prologue. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna kill this thing again. This kangaroo looking thing. Every Star Wars fans out there is like, I hate her so much right now. She's butchering every name. That's a whatchamacallit. I'm dead. So I'm pretty sure I made it 8.5. 
0.2659% through. Well, we might as well try again. We got three of them. Unlike most fairy tales, this one did not have a happy ending. And although the other warriors were able to defeat the game, this was the end for the princess. And if we're being honest, the princess is me. Now I know I should feel shamed because I let this game bring me to my knees, but I don't. Although we'll have to take out a second mortgage to recoup the financial loss. <gasps> Retirement fund! Oh. I have to remember, I still have my health, my family, and most of all, my games. If I had to pinpoint my one weakness, the singular reason I was unable to reign victorious. It goes back to something Telesplash said when he made his video. Next up, the third channel on the list. It's a power couple on YouTube. Up in the Canadian border, my brethren up north, they spend more time in the game room than the bedroom. That's relationship goals right there, folks. So yeah, speaking of, I gotta go. Uh, you probably realized Scott wasn't in this video. That's because he's uh, waiting for me upstairs, so until next time, game on.